Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, it happened. They did it. The 84 times 10 is finally unlimited repeatable. It is time to pack everything and anything that you've been trying to pack on this game with this SBC being the way that we've always wanted it to be. And also craft any SBC that you want to get done because fodder is literally everywhere right now. What I want to talk about today is some of the hints that I have at getting the 84 times 10 done without spending any coins and some ways to do even more of these when you think you might be running out of fodder in the club. Now that content was great news but there was some other content yesterday that wasn't so great and it was also expected to be that way but we'll see if ea can turn that around with more icon species upcoming soon and speaking of icons today marks one week from the sawa glitched icon player pick situation last sunday it won't happen again right we got a lot to talk about today guys if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new let's go over saturday's content yesterday of course the 84 and 85 times 10 for the big story but for evolutions we had a footies upgrading evo here that's actually kind of nice don't sleep on this one the premium transition evolution takes a footies player already high rated 96 max overall and gives them basically a plus two in every stat category and then i think plus one in pace uh honestly guys look at the reese james if you got this card from objectives look at this card after this evo and the premium chemistry is applied as well for the footies evo premium card design which is a sneakily nice addition to this evo i mean of course chemistry in the end game you probably have 33 of 33 but it's nice to have this card looks crazy and there's plenty of other cards that look pretty nice too for me it might be udogi in this evolution maybe it's ansu fati for you maybe it's even like sancho right this is this is cool it takes an already good footies card that maybe most of us only use for objectives like the abamyang the diani maybe the ansu fati and it allows you to boost them up to a little bit of a higher level now since we don't have any more teams of footies coming out you would imagine that maybe there's only one or two more cards that will be able to fit into this evo so if you're thinking about waiting to see who could fit it i mean really you would only want to wait the next couple of days because that's how many days left there are for another footies player to be dropped as an sbc as a base regular footies item so that evo there's not a whole lot to talk about here except for it's fun if you use any of these footies items in your team already boosting them up with these uh stat boosts here is actually pretty nice so there's not a whole lot to say with there there's not a whole lot of games required of it either that's a w -E Evo, in my opinion. Now, let's get to the big stuff, the hype stuff, the SBCs, guys. Yo, the 84 and 85 times 10, those timer refreshes that we looked at in the video yesterday, they were right because I think it was 4 a.m. my time, which is like 9 a.m. UK, when these SBCs refreshed. I guess EA wanted people to be able to rip through these while watching the games being back and football being back with the leagues on yesterday on Saturday. I guess that's what they were going for, but they released these early, unlimited repeatable 84 times 10 and the 85 times 10 five times per day we absolutely love this i don't know why it happened early but this allows us now to truly craft anything right you can do 184 times 10 and put that what you get from it the stuff that you don't want to keep in your club straight back into another throw in a couple other fodder cards and it's just unlimited grinding pack after pack after pack and if you don't like what you get that's fine you just go into the next one put in what you don't like and you keep ripping and what the oh that was that's actually a pretty good 84 times 10 to be honest a 90 benzema and only 184 usually you don't get that many specials that's going to help me out with exchanges i do have a couple of hints guys with these sbcs but again back to the hype of this sbc you can literally rip unlimited good packs now with this being out. Like, I would always feel that I wanted to do more 84 and 85 times 10s after I would get through my 4 or 5 whatever per day. Now it's unlimited, and that is amazing. You could rip these for hours and hours on then and chase any of the cards that you've wanted to pack from Footies Team 5 or the best of re-release, like the 99 Messi, 98 Dino, R9, Mbappe, all those unlimited back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back crafts with this 84 times 10. You absolutely love it. If you're really a degen, by the way, you could just rinse these 84 times 10s into the 92 plus player picks and chase after the footies 99s. That's one thing that you can do with this, that the possibilities are kind of endless now with this 84 times 10 being unlimited. Now, here's a couple hints I have in relation to this grind, because I'm sure a lot of you guys are getting through this and you're noticing a couple of things. First of all, you might be running out of 82s to 84s to finish off the rest of these squads. And you also might be running out of 
team of the seasons. One hint I have is before you do your 84 times 10s every day, do the 85 times 10s at content. I know that they are more expensive. It's an 86 rated squad and a team of the season, but you're going to pack more team of the seasons and higher rated cards out of this 85 10. Like it's not even close. The 85 times 10 is a lot better consistently than the 84 10. That 84 10 that I just opened that's, that's honestly like what most 8510s are at like base level. So do these first. It's going to give you more special cards for which you can put into exchanges, which I'll talk about in a second, and probably be more team of the seasons that you won't get as many of from an 8410. You'll get a lot of TOTS cards from these, doing these unlimited repeatable, but you want to do the 8510s first. That's my first tip. Do those first. It'll give you more high rated and more TOTS to then go back into the 84 times 10. My other hint is make sure you are still hitting exchanges, guys. I know the temptation now is like only 84 tens. That's the only pack you need. Not really. The exchanges are still so key. When you get duplicates, if you're not crafting a player SBC, put them into exchanges because it is actually still very important that you do exchanges during this unlimited 84 times 10 grind and even rinse those common golds into 82 plus picks because you're going to be needing those 82 to 85 rated players to continue to do squads of the 84 times 10 or after a short amount of time you'll notice that your club is just going to be like dusted you're not going to have very many special cards in it at all like i know i'm just putting in 87s right here but you look at my club i'm i'm going to run out of 82s 81s even 80s i would be okay with putting into this but i'm going to run out of those pretty fast so i know you don't do 82 plus player picks to get 82s and 83s but that's one of the things that even though those aren't great pulls from an 82 plus pick um, you can still grind those picks to get pulls and then put those back into 84 times 10s, right? That's the whole fun with this. And then, of course, you get the TOTS cards from player picks as well, which will give you some more high rated fodder for either exchanges or TOTS cards that you'll be able to put back into 84 times 10s. Let's do one more. Oh, we got the TOTS luck, right? Mike Theory, we're saying team of the season. TOTS, TOTS, TOTS. Okay, that's the 88 rated Columbus Crew TOTS card that's everywhere. Did I get two? I see. Oh, Giroud. All right. See, that was nice. Two tots and one is nice, but that's a pretty average 84 times 10 right there. A lot of gold cards. That's why you do the 85 tens first so that you get more specials and then you can go from there. So that's kind of the crafting that you can do right now. And inside of that, a couple of hints that I have for you guys to help the craft kind of sustain itself longer, because if you don't do it right, you can run out of the fodder for the 84 times tens. Now let's talk about the SPCs we can craft with the 84 times tens. Of course, now you Eusebio, I'm sure so many of you guys are way farther along with Eusebio now, or maybe you completed Baggio with a snap of a finger, or you're even thinking about doing the Maldini. Now, this, honestly, guys, we set the stage yesterday. We kind of knew after what EA posted on the in-game message that this Maldini might be coming out. It was not a footies Maldini that was 98 or 99 rated. It was the 96 Maldini that was released. And to be honest, the SPC value of 1.7 million coins last week would have been decent i guess um the uh, this card was over 2 million coins only because he wasn't re-released in packs but ea price this at 1.7 mil is basically it's not a coin value mistake here it's just a time value uh that they're really putting on this because they know that with unlimited 84 times tens we can all do this it just takes the time is it worth the time to go do this maldini for 19 squats in my opinion i don't think so and i think a lot of you guys agree if you take a look at uh footbin you see 800 down votes to 135 upvotes for maldini i would do this maldini if you want him uh, because it's Maldini. That's the reason to do this SBC, but I think there's better center backs that are out right now and um, better center backs that you maybe could pack from even like 92 plus player picks or from the best of re-release that is in packs. So let's just hope that this is one of the worst actual greats of the game SBCs that we get uh, during the whole entire greats of the game week this week where they're going to be releasing more of these cards, even though we have more coming and there could be some lower rated ones or maybe some other ones. Let's hope that this is one of the worst ones right the Dino Hullet Zidane those are the guys that we are after this week so we're going to keep an eye out for who is leaked and who EA maybe even teases is going to be icon species come this week but of course unlimited crafting 84 tens it'll be doable regardless of the price now the other SBC we had yesterday was a hero guys 
I'm again, I'm, I'm looking at another card that we had last year in FIFA 23. EA loves to reuse names, even for the heroes and icons. Tim Cahill, he had a card last year. I think it was like the first week of footies in FIFA 23. But this card, as usual with Tim Cahill cards, is quite the item here. Striker, center mid, cam, and center forward. He's got anticipate, power shot, power header, and acrobatic. What a combination of playstyle pluses. That's a mix I don't think I've ever seen before. But if this card interests you, he is very cheap. He's only 100,000 coins and two squads to get done so that is there now a byproduct of all of this SBC crafting packs that is going on right now we mentioned team of the seasons and how you might be running out of them right take a look at Todd's cards on the market it's kind of crazy to see this Todd's cards are up 10,000 coins a piece all these cards you guys remember were discard just a couple of days ago even yesterday morning before the SBCs refreshed very early Todd's cards were 11,000 coins discard price. They are now upwards of 22 to 23K because people are doing the 84 tens. They want to keep doing them and they're running out of Todd's cards. I don't have a problem if you want to buy Todd's cards just to complete the SBCs. I really don't, but I just think that there is a way, as we mentioned before, doing a couple of things a bit differently and better can save you from spending those coins. But if you want to spend the coins in the end game, like it's the end game, like spend the 20K on TOTS cards. If you're like, Nate, I don't want to go open 82 plus picks and exchanges to try to pack it blue, then don't just spend 20K and buy a TOTS card. These might continue to trickle up in price depending on the content that we get today. But also, again, do those 85 times 10s first. You'll pack more blues. And uh, these would be cards that you would want to bid on and you know trade with a little bit too if you're trying to make some coins at the moment. Good on bids and then list for lazies. They could maybe go as high as like 25 to 27K. That's my guess um, over the weekend, this weekend. And especially today, if we get more icon player pick SBCs. So that is one thing I did want to mention. Also... Fodder prices, this is kind of crazy. I uh, just saw this a little bit ago, but every single fodder price from 91 rated, even 92, some of the 92s, but 91 rated and below, every single rating are at minimum price. 5.1, right? Minimum for 87s, 5.2 max. You know, 84s and 85s, they're minimum. 90s, 91s, like it's cr everything is minimum price in terms of fodder, not even selling. If you pack like that Gerard, like if you pack 91 Gerard, don't even bother listing it up. Like just com just do it as use it in an exchange or put it into an SBC because he's not going to even sell as a tradable card because they're all minimum price in the market, which is wild. But it's the unlimited E4 times 10. Everybody has fodder. Nobody needs to buy it except TOTS cards. So that's one thing I did want to point out. TOTS cards are going up. And that's the menu got grind right now, guys, with the 84 times 10. It's unlimited. Live it up. Chase the 99s. Craft Eusebio. Craft me a ham and anything else you want with ease. Because after this week, I hate to say it, they probably might not come back with an 84 times 10 unlimited repeatable this upcoming weekend. They might take a step back. We're going to talk about that tomorrow in a preseason video. Uh, but that is one thing that I would not be like setting my standards to get an 84 times 10 every single week for the year on out. Enjoy this week. It's going to be fun. Chase the cards you want to chase and craft whatever you want to craft because it'll virtually be free. Just takes a little bit of time, but we love it. We love it when packs look like this. So EA, thank you for doing this. Finally, it is very nice. Now let's talk about more SBCs to craft because you know, some of you have probably already finished Eusebio and Ham and you did Maldini just because why not? And you've done every player SBC now and you're just doing 92 plus picks because you're like, well, what player's coming next? Well, we know we're going to get more players next. It's great to the game icon still based on that in-game message that EA said, right? Check out SBCs this week as select greats of the game will be re-released. We had Maldini. Could we get Cruyff? Could we get Rivaldo, Hullet, Dino, Zidane, R9? I think Thierry Henry would be in the conversation as well, even though he's already so cheap. That would be a striker card I don't think too many people would be disappointed about, but that'd be maybe on the lower tier. But we're going to get another player SBC today. Will it be another greats of the game icon, or will EA give us a footies player like i mean we've had a lot of icons and heroes like i've mentioned and maybe ea is saving some of these footies players i know we had odegaard but we haven't had too many like insane footies players right maybe they're saving some of that for after footies for the preseason promo with transfers and stuff like that or end of an eras could potentially come back during that time as well you know like ea drop a 99 footies di maria this is just one card that i'm like he could go for a footies 99 footies di maria with maxed out passing dribbling like 95 pace 95 shooting four play style pluses make him five five 
that'd be a cold footies player card like i think i'm looking forward to more of those being released i'm not expecting stuff like that right now but that would be a nice twist on footy since it has been so hero and icon heavy. But we'll definitely get a player SPC today, whether it's an icon or a player. Make sure you check Twitter before content today. There will probably be some leaks. Now, Sundays, right? Icon player picks. As I mentioned, and as you guys definitely remember, we are one week removed from this crazy situation. And the 93 plus and the 91 plus picks being glitched with the Sawa pack luck. Well, what's EA going to do today? It's probably not going to be a glitched player pick once again. They probably got their ducks in a line, if you will. Uh, but will they give us a 93 plus again? Will they up it and say, okay, well, last week was a mistake, so we're going to continue to progress in the icon player picks like we kind of hoped that they would. Of course, the icon player picks this week should contain team five icons as well like the blanc that we have out right now the beckham that'd be very nice i mean shevchenko and hero whatever but blanc and beckham would be really nice inside these icon player picks as well so i'm just curious to see what player picks come out today how many come out because we've had unlimited repeatable 90 pluses for the past week will they give us two again or what will they do with that regardless icon player picks are going to be exciting because it is craftable everything is right now with 84 times 10 so that's why i think we watch tots cards again today because they could go up a little bit more and it will just give us another opportunity to craft another sbc i think we 100 percent get something today either this refreshes and we get a 93 plus on top of it or they give us just a 93 plus we will have to see hopefully we have two icon player picks though especially for the unlimited repeatable grind of those that would be so much fun so that's what i'm expecting today and i mean even for an evolution today i know evos aren't the most hyped thing for a lot of people at the moment it's probably possible that we could get another footies evo today as well it doesn't oh yeah what's expiring today oh no team of the year shine i have 14 hours left to do to claim um i really need to decide who i'm putting in team of the year shine this is last call for team of the year shine um yo i gotta put something in that i was really thinking about doing me a ham maybe we'll get another team of the year shine today or who knows maybe they're going to continue this variation of like you know create a card with your own like just item kind of like a skinning um evolution pay to skin but not really paying like evo to skin type of thing kind of how they're gonna let us change the card design on cards in fc25 for evolutions inside of the evolution card type maybe there'll be something else like this today i gotta make sure i get that done though i cannot forget i might just do me a ham because it was the fastest 93 rated squad sbcs i've ever crafted before so watch out for that today we'll probably get another evolution but again it's another day the grind and the craft now really quick to end off the video i want to talk about some fc25 news that was dropped yesterday the official stats for all the new heroes that are coming in the pre-order ultimate edition pack now of course i've pre-ordered the game already and we have to pre-order by the 20th to get these heroes locked in as a pre-order bonus but it's kind of nice to see the stats and we even get to see the stats on the heroes when they're going to upgrade in november so we see the launch stats and the upgraded versions, the Origin version and the Prime. Um, wow. I mean, to be fair, if you pack Hazard, you are stacked, you know. But the upgrade's really interesting for Hazard. 86 Hazard starts with 93 pace and 93 dribbling. But even in November when it gets upgraded, those stats don't get boosted. It's the shooting and the passing. Which, to be completely honest, if he would get a playstyle plus boost at that time of the year as well, then it would become a pretty good card in my opinion. With those stats, 93 pace and dribbling is going to be still great in November, in my opinion. With the boost of the shooting and the pace, that'll be insane. Um, my con gets a crazy boost. Howard's going to look nuts. Hamshuk looks pretty good. Jopstam looks insane. He looks great for the beginning stages of the game. 81 pace, 86 defending, and 85 physical on a center back, or 86 physical. But then when he gets upgraded, 85 pace, 91 defending, and 90 physical. Probably with a play style plus as well. Um, that's going to be a nuts card. Zeroberto looks pretty good. Uh, Carragher looks like fodder. Georges, I think, is going to end up being fodder too, even though some of her stats look decent. Guti looks a bit mid. Matuidi, Nor a bit mid. And Yaya Toure looks kind of mid as well. This one, to me, is really wild. He does not get a pace boost. I'm wondering if that's a visual glitch, like if they messed up the graphic, guys. 82 pace to 82 pace. That seems a bit off, especially I want to look at Yaya's base hero card here because we're still going to have the base heroes in the game. What's his pace on this version? 
Ooh, 78. Oh, okay. Maybe not then. I really don't know, guys. That one to me looks crazy. He gets plus 8 physical. 83 physical to 91. And he gets plus 5 passing. Minus 1 dribbling. This one for him looks so interesting. So weird. All the other upgrades for these heroes look kind of like, like makes sense like the 86 rated gets a boost to the 88 but the yaya one looks really crazy so there's something going on there but this is the full list um and i can post this or you can guys check it out actually on ea sports fc's twitter those are all of the cards for the new heroes coming in fc 25 they're going to be coming out i think we might do a little bit more of a deep dive on that just because that interests me a lot and those are honestly going to play a huge role to start of fc 25 but we're not in fc 25 yet we're still unlimited we're still doing unlimited 84 times tens here on fc 24 enjoy the grind enjoy the craft today and enjoy the football as well and i will see you guys in another video tomorrow it has been nathan with a i'll see you guys there oh hey subscribe to the channel if you're new like the video if you enjoyed it and comment down below if you have any questions the good stuff at the end right all right i'll see you guys in the next video it's been nathan with a catch you there peace out